Hi, my name is Arkin Forty, and I'd like to help you with training of your any new staff that you might be bringing in to work on the RTI system. Today we're training Holly on how to take an order on the very basics, and what's really important is to understand how to start an order, and then the secret I'm going to share with you as soon as she gets started, that's going to make it so much easier because you don't need a mouse or a Windows-based system to make this work. This is really easier if you just know the simple technique. So Holly, I'm going to be a customer calling you up now. The phone's ringing. You say hi. It says, hi, go ahead. Hi, this is Holly. How can I help you? All right. Um, I'd like to place an order, please. So at this point, you enter mm -hmm. and introduce. So you enter and you put your number in mm -hmm. and you introduce yourself to the system. Enter, introduce. Enter starts the order. Then you put in your employee number. Okay. Okay. At this point, go ahead. May I have your phone number, please? Um, I'm at 212-427-8080. Oh, are you Carol? Yes. And what address would we have on file for you, Carol? Perfect, because you don't want to give up their address in wherever they are, because it could be other people, and you can give out the wrong person's information. Mm -hmm. So always have the person on the phone tell you the address that you would have on file for them. Okay, Very good. Perfect. Enter, enter. Go ahead. And go ahead, enter. Okay. Okay. So at this point now you're at the recipient information. Mm -hmm. And go ahead. Um, who would you like to send the flowers to today, please? I would like to send to, now when I'm doing that, I want you to hit the F1 key. Okay. Now you're looking at that without saying anything to me. So uh, now I'm going to say to you, I'd like to send to um, Callie Kennedy. And, and then you'll say. Is she in Marnanek? Mamaronek. Mamaronek. Mamaronek is in New York. Yes, she is. Oh, that's great. Perfect. You have her on file? Yes. yes and you say I what do. street she's at. And in this case, you don't have a phone number. And you may want to go back and ask her, do you have a phone number we can put on your, on your order for you so okay. it'll make it easier to get delivered? Okay. Whatever. Okay. Enter through. At this point here, as you're entering through the order, it's asking you what you need to ask the customer. Mm -hmm. So this is the secret that I was trying to say. At this point, if you start using those prompts where it says delivery, uh, mm -hmm. delivery method, ask, make that a question. So what day would you like delivery? And I'd like that for Wednesday, please. For Wednesday? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. and enter through. Go ahead. And what would you like written on the card? See, the system already knows it's an outgoing order. Mm -hmm. The system's very smart. It's just a matter of you following through and ask the questions to the customer as they appear on your screen. Okay. So go ahead. And what would you like the card to say? Right, because it says card message. So you make it a question. If you put a question mark after every one of those fields, this would be easier than Windows because you can't bounce around and make a mistake. Mm -hmm. So um, happy birthday. Oops. Explode, F2. So by exploding that, the, the indicator is going to be triggered for the birthday. So hit enter. And, and I put love, whatever. Okay, now, but see, that now went to birthday, birthday because you made F2 right here. If you didn't type the F2 explode, it wouldn't know what you're writing. Mm -hmm. It's already programmed to say FHB explode is going to index it as a birthday. Understand. All right, so enter through. All right, and now you're looking for the product code. Now, you were asking me, I'd like to send the Nizalia plant. What was your mm -hmm. first question? How do I know what the code for Nizalia plant is? Exactly, so let's look around. Let's hit enter. Okay. And then, um, so as you're in here, you would type in blooming plant, BP, BP. and then F1. Now, we've got codes in here to make it easy. If we had a lot of inventory, I want you to put the exact code in with the Azalea BPA would be Azalea. But if you just type BP and then whatever you want to type after that, mm -hmm. it's great for an out-of-town order. If you want to type FA, enter, fresh floral arrangement to include tulips, daffodils, or whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. So, FA... BP, GP are mm -hmm. the standards, or R12 would be a dozen red rows. Hit, hit F10. F10? Yep. Yeah. And now hit R, um, t arrow back, two. All right, then hit clear. So if you were in enter, now if you were to type enter, and R12. See? It's all set up okay. when you set up your products on RTI. 
Anyone that maximizes the setup of a product can have it prompt you to what to offer for that type of an item. Mm -hmm. So like for funeral arrangements, you, wouldn't, you would not want to offer a balloon. You might say a keepsake angel for a family member to take home with them. Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead and enter through. And that's basically it when you're placing an RTI order. You want to go through the system and you want to just take every field and add a question mark after it. It'll make it so much easier. Good job on that, Holly. Thank and you. You're, you broke your habit of the mouse, which is great, because Holly continued to go to her mouse. Take the mouse away. For anyone on RTI, just forget the mouse exists. And just enter through, and you have your areas up here, F6, F5, F7, and that's how you bounce around your screen. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Bloomerang Solutions or call me at 941-544-5000. Thank you.